How does it feel to be back in Southern California? It feels great. It's uh, kind of exciting. I, we don't normally have red carpet at every show. It's, it's uh, not, only in Beverly Hills. It didn't come with you, huh? No, no. Special treatment. Yeah. Well, fantastic new album. Um, who, who are your biggest influences coming into music? Who, who inspired you to want to do what you do? Well, when I was a little kid, my mom had these Manitas Capatas records. He was a gypsy player from France, and as a kid, apparently, I got hooked on him. Uh, as I got older, it was really Paco de Lucia as a guitarist. Uh, as a producer, Peter Gabriel was a huge influence. Uh, who else? These days, it's a guy named Vicente Amigo. He's a Spanish guitarist. Yeah. Well, with the style that you do, what 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 do you hope people get get from that? I mean, obviously yeah. you're you're innovating, you're doing your thing. Yeah. What what do you hope to you know achieve as far as not not only with the present music, but yeah. you know reaching more people? What would you like to do? Well, you know, um, what I try to do is do a mashup of world yeah. music, kind of make try to make something new out of things that are old. So you know, there are elements. Uh, I, over the years, I studied uh, classical guitar and jazz guitar and flamenco, and so I mix those together and I play the guitar the way I do, and then I mix it with elements of uh, you know Arabic music, Persian music. Uh, Latin music, salsa, Brazilian, uh, music from Cuba, music from Colombia. Just mix it all together and try to create a, a world music and global fusion stew. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Well, with the music business changing so much, obviously these days you can kind of do your own thing, find your own niche. Do you, do you find it exciting that people are kind of moving away from some of the traditional media and they're kind of coming out and finding out about more more forms of music and maybe opening their ears a little more? Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, I think because of the internet, I think, you know, in terms of, you know, travel time and communication, the world is smaller than, say, France was 200 years ago. You know, it's, uh, you know, people, people, musicians in particular, are collaborating, you know, from countries where they would never have normally come in contact with each other ever in their lives. And now it's as easy, you know, we all have... 12 year olds sort of doing little things with somebody in China and somebody in North America or somebody yeah. in Brazil or whatever. So it's a very exciting time for music, I think. So it's one of the upsides of technology, because I know technology has hurt a lot of the business and made it easy for people to steal things, but you're saying it's opened up avenues for collaboration where it's kind of short, shortened the borders, it's kind of blurred the lines oh, between yeah. cultures. No, I think it's very exciting. I mean, the other thing is, I mean, you're right, in terms of the music business and selling records, that's sort of gone away. The internet means people don't think of a record as something you purchase anymore. But... Uh, I think what the internet sort of taketh away, the internet giveth in the form of, you know, an artist like myself, who's doing music that would never normally be on top 40 anyway, is suddenly accessible to people who really want to dig a little bit and find out about it. You know, and maybe they're interested in Paco de Lucia or something, or the Gypsy Kings, and because of that, they, they are able to find me. They don't have to listen to the top 40 record or radio, I should say. Sure. And all that you've seen, what advice you give to that young player coming up, the young creative person who wants, wants, wants to have your life. What advice would you give them to focus on to be able to find their own style? Oh, I think it's it's so hard. Uh, I, I think, obviously, find that thing that is your voice. You know, that, uh, we all, as musicians, we, we emulate the people that we admire. When we first start, you learn to play like the people that you admire, you love. And then at some point, you have to find your own sound, something that is uniquely you. And, and I think, really, that's what you know everyone should eventually do. You, at first, you honor but the musicians that have gone before, but at some point, you kind of have to cut the umbilical cord and, and find, your, find yourself. 